What's up guys, so we had a DSTV Premiership action, it was uh, Cape Town City going up against Golden Arrows and what a game that was, Cape Town City winning that 4-3, 4-3 is them winning it, but I tell you something, what a game it was, if you missed that game, you missed an incredible game because that's a great advertisement for PSL in terms of the excitement and the goals that, that has just been this season as well, and I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed and frustrated at Golden Arrows because that is what they're capable of, that last, you would say 25 minutes of football that they were playing that is what they were capable of when i was at super sport i predicted 2-2 obviously look it didn't end up being 2-2 but i predicted that there would be goals and two teams that will definitely go at each other and that don't like sitting back but golden arrows on the other hand in the first half they were just all over the place they were really all over the place and maybe you thought is it because they played three days ago against mamluri sundowns that they gave it their all but it, they all in that game, but they were just all over the place. Defenses were in sixes and sevens. And the thing is with, with, with Cape Town City is that they don't have a focal number nine. They don't start off with a focal number nine. So they're constantly mobile. You just don't see where they're going. This one is there. That one is there. Fagli K is moving there. Dunson is moving there. Alani is moving there. They're not necessarily in set positions as well. And that confused the Golden Arrows defense completely. And I think also as well as is that they were also falling for Cape Town City's traps. Cape Town City would just lure them in and then they'll transition. And when they transition, they start to score goals as well. But that's the thing with Golden Arrows. The first time they go forward, the first time they get their first shot, they get their first goal. And from then on, the momentum really swung in Golden, in Golden Arrows' favor as well. Because Cape Town City were just... I think they were just freaked out by that goal. They started defending. They start. They stopped playing as well. And I think also the changes that Siama made helped him more versus the changes that Eric Tinkler's change. Um, his changes didn't help him as well. And the momentum was in Golden Arrow's favor. And that's when they started to score the first goal and the second goal and the third goal. And it was nail biting towards the end. If that game had gone on for another, you would say seven minutes or ten minutes, I think we could have seen a four-all draw, no doubt. But what a game that was! Cape Town City get the three crucial points, but Siama needs to fix this problem of them conceding goals because they're conceding goals a lot this season.